Hey everyone, I am Sandeep, Sandeep Ranjan. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to extrude text in Fusion 360. If you are new to software or looking to expand your skills, you are in the right place. So let's dive right in. Step 1. Open a new design in Fusion 360. So first open Fusion 360 and create a new design project. You can go to file section and from here you can create new design. And then step 2 you have to create sketch. So this is a place from where you can create your sketch. So click on create sketch and now you have to select the surface on which surface you have to make like top view, front view or another side view. So I will go with the top surface and here first of all I will create a rectangle shape. So where I will place the text. So you have to just draw the sketch over here to get the results. So right now I have placed over here one sort of rectangle. So let me extrude this particular surface so that there we will apply our text. So I am just giving here 10 mm distance. So let's click on OK. Now you can see here my rectangle is ready. So again we will go to top view and we will go to create sketch at this particular place and uh, once we have to select the surface, top surface will select and now we have to add text in this. So to add text, adding text is our step 3. So you have to click on text tool by going to the create. You can find at this particular place text option. So click on text tool from the sketch menu choose your desired font you can select the font but let's make the area where we will apply our text so i'm just taking this particular section now i will type over here so let's type here some name let's say my name is sandeep so i'm just going to type over here my name itself in the caps lock so s a n d double e p sandeep so you can change the font from font section i will go with arial black because i want little bit bold and uh, if you want to change the height dimension you can change you can see like where your text is lying and uh, at this particular place you can add the space space in between your character let's say i am adding two so it will create some sort of space between the characters at this particular section now here we have alignment we can align it to center we can align it to middle so now it is done so we'll click on ok so now you have your step 4 where you have to finish your sketch from this particular section so click on finish a sketch once you finish a sketch now we have to extrude this particular text so let's go to 3d view you have to click on home button then you have to select the text and we have extrude option over here so the shortcut is e you can press e also for the extrusion so now at this particular place we will extrude it to some level so you can see here it is giving some sort of dimension as well so i'm going with only 5 mm and make sure at this options operations it should be new body you can click on new body now we have to click on ok so at this particular place you can find that your text is extruded nicely now once it is done you can use various options which are available over here like you can add fillet fillet which will make some sort of curve on the edges now you have to select select some sort of area so i am going to apply extrude on this particular surface on the top side so i am just going to give some sort of 5 mm so here you can see the curve is applied so that you can see your text properly visible and carved accordingly and once it is done then you can apply material and appearance so for applying some sort of appearance on this let's go to modify section so once you go to modify you will find here appearance section and shortcut for appearance section is a 
so you have to just click a you can find here appearance at this particular place or if suppose you want to use your shortcut you can just press a so once you will press a you will find your appearance section will be available at this particular place and then you can select your desired whatever material or color you want to apply so here the benefit of having new body on our text we can actually change the color of both the things in a different manner and in fact we can change to multiple colors let's say i'm just right now going to apply over here some sort of metal so for this particular section i'm going to apply some sort of coatings but here we have to download it so we have multiple options copper so let's say suppose if i'm going with copper raw i'm just applying on the back surface so you have to just hold it and drop it on the surface that's all and now if suppose i want to apply some sort of uh, like chrome finish then i have to again download it so let me see which is there available right now so let me take brushed radial one or let's go to some sort of nickel or palladium or platinum whichever you want you can select and you can change the color accordingly or for this particular thing let's go with glass and uh, let me apply some sort of textured glass on this we have different sort of glass available over here if we have to go with glass density then we have that option as well so let me just download it and immediately it will be ready to apply and let me download on different different colors so that we can see the difference so right now i will go with here glass medium and this time i am going to apply color on this particular text so let's see how it looks so again just hold and drop it drop it on each one of the text whatever is there formed so once it is done then after that i will show you like how it looks like so let me apply it accordingly almost it is done and here you go so this is all done though so we'll close this and then let's go to home section and you can see the finish over here on top with the glass material and this is of some sort of copper so let's go to our render section and see actually how it looks like so once we will go to render and uh, here we'll show you the outcome of it so let me arrange it properly first of all for proper appearance so i will just use orbit orbit to change the alignment or change the view so that we can have a proper look of this particular 3d extruded text so i will just keep it like this so that we can have an idea like how it looks like and uh, then let's apply here in canvas render so let's see the rendering will take some time it completely depends upon your internet so just wait and watch how it renders and how it looks like is as per the appearance or the materials which we have applied on it so we'll wait till it reaches to excellent okay guys so now as per our appearance and rendering it is done to excellent so this is the view how it will look like and uh, once you are satisfied with your extruded text and uh, with your design you can save your project and you can also export your designs in various formats for 3d printing or other application and there you have it thank you for watching if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fusion 360 tutorials and other exciting content keep watching keep learning if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comments below until next time happy designing